Hey everyone, this is Scott White and Kibowitz, and today I want to show you, there's actually three apps. Um, I'm going to show you really one, and then show you what the other two are. As you can see here, there's three apps, Set My Cam, Set My, uh, MX, Set My Cam DF, and Set My Cam Pro. I'm going to open up Set My Cam Pro, or Set My Camera, and you'll see here that there's a bunch of different things. So if you go through this information, you can see that there's um, how to use the app for depth of field, or field of view, or the, what's the motion information. So you got all the, right away you have the information about this app that, you know, if you never used it before, this is, gonna, this is gonna come in handy. And also you can set it up. So you can actually, um, you can update the camera, uh, camera list. It takes a little bit to update the camera. So instead of you having to download an update of the app, it's built in that you can just update what cameras are available for you to use. Okay, so that's pretty neat. So let's hop into, um, actually let's hop into setup, and I'm going to choose my camera, which is actually the Nikon D800. Now, um, then I'm going to, after that's selected, go over to the de uh, depth of field. Now, what's nice is you can actually set up what kind of lens you have. So let's say it's a 24 millimeter, and I'm at f5.6, and uh, my subject is six feet away, it tells me that near focus is 3.9, my subject is at six feet, and the far focus is actually 12.8. So the furthest I can focus with this lens is 12.8. To get the best possible focus with the 24 millimeter uh, at f5.6, uh, um, I can back the person up to 11.2 feet and have the best possible focus. Let's say you're using the 85 millimeter lens. This is a very popular lens using 85 millimeter, uh, 85 millimeter lens at f1.8. Very popular lens. The hyperfocal distance um, is actually 443 feet, which is pretty crazy um, at f1.8, but who's going to be using it at that? So you actually want to go, let's say, at f8, 99 feet. Now that's a pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy distance. So, um, but you get the idea. This is going to be able to tell you some depth of field information about your lenses very easily. You also have field of view. So here is a quick way you can actually take a look. So here's actually what my recording. Let's get mirror and mirror right here. And there we go. Mirror and mirror. Um, so you can actually sort of mimic a lens as you can see. So it's sort of giving you the viewfinder. You can uh, adjust the brightness up and down, turn on flash, turn off flash. You can get a grid going in there. Your live histogram, which is pretty cool. Image stabilization. You can see actually how that works. Image enhance. So um, basically it's like a little camera in here too. But uh, this is great for visualizing do I need another lens? Do I not need a other, another lens? So I'm at 35 millimeters. Should I go to a 50? Let's see what a 50 would look like. And no, I'm not, I'm not digging the 50. Let's go back to the 35. So instead of you having to switch lenses, you can actually just mimic it inside of the app. That's pretty cool. Motion is great if you are looking to find what shutter speed to set your camera to to capture motion. So let's say I'm going to shake my hand in front of the in front of the phone in front of the lens in front of the phone, and you actually see that the motion it'll actually start going up because there's so much going on. You can see there start it went up and there's an average. Um, so it's going to tell you that the faster the objects, the faster your shutter speed is going to have to be. So if you've got a car driving by and you're trying to capture those. Instead of you having to figure it out, you know, just by trial and error, if you don't already know, you can just load this app and, and give it a try and see what, you know, the actual movement based on the actual speed, um, what it needs to be for your shutter speed. And you can actually change your, your focal length, so, because um, that'll also help determine everything. So, there you go, that's that one. IR trigger, they actually, this company also sells a trigger that you can um, fire your camera but so I don't have that so I can't really uh, set it but um, you get the idea you can actually set your intervals and whatnot so that is um, set cam set my camera pro now if I go into MX you'll see that it's just a limited version so I have depth of field field of view motion and that's it okay so it's got a limited amount 
of options in this version. And then if I go to set my cam DF, again, depth of field and field of view, it has even less. So it really depends on what you're going for. Do you want the full settings? Do you want just some of them? Do you want some of the others? Um, so that is what you need to decide. Um, and you can pick up one of these. They're it's pretty neat. Um, it'll, I'll, I'm sure it'll find its way into my um, arsenal of, of uh, iPhone use for my workflow uh, on the, uh, while I'm shooting at some point. Um, not right away, because they do have other apps that do similar things, but as apps improve, some don't improve. So you might find that I use this one more. I might find that I use the other ones more. Well, we shall see. Thanks for watching.